Breathing is an essential process that occurs automatically and allows us to take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide without conscious effort. This vital function is controlled by a series of complex reflexes that ensure our body can adapt to varying conditions, such as physical exertion, changes in oxygen levels, or the need for sudden deep breaths. These reflexes are governed by both the respiratory system and the nervous system and are crucial for maintaining balance and responding to our body's immediate needs. There are seven different types of breathing reflexes that work together in order for us to sustain life. Some of them I bet you've never heard of before. So keep watching to learn exactly what they are. Number one, coughing. The cough reflex is a protective mechanism designed to clear the airways of irritants such as dust, mucus, or foreign particles. It begins when sensory receptors in the respiratory tract, particularly in the trachea and bronchi, detect an irritant. These receptors send signals to the brain, which triggers a rapid inhalation followed by the forceful expulsion of air through the lungs. This sudden burst of air helps dislodge and remove the irritant from the airways. Coughing is essential for maintaining clear airways and preventing harmful substances from entering the lungs, thereby protecting the respiratory system from potential damage or infection. Number 2. Sneezing the sneeze reflex is a powerful, involuntary response designed to expel irritants from the nasal cavity. It is triggered when particles such as dust, pollen, or microbes come into contact with the sensitive lining of your nose, specifically the mucous membranes. Sensory receptors in the nose send signals to the brain, which then activates a coordinated response. The body takes in a deep breath, and the muscles of the chest, diaphragm, and throat work together to forcefully expel air through the nose and mouth. This sudden release, often accompanied by droplets, helps clear the nasal passages and prevent harmful substances from reaching the lungs, protecting the respiratory system. Number 3. Hiccups Hiccups occur when the diaphragm, the primary muscle responsible for breathing, involuntarily contracts. This sudden contraction is followed by the immediate closure of the vocal cords, producing the characteristic hic sound. Hiccups are often triggered by factors such as eating too quickly, consuming carbonated drinks, or experiencing sudden changes in temperature. Although typically harmless and short-lived, hiccups can sometimes persist for longer periods. While the exact purpose of hiccups remains unclear, they are generally seen as a minor and temporary disruption to normal breathing. In most cases, they resolve on their own, but various home remedies, such as holding one's breath or drinking water, are often employed to stop them. Number 4. Yawning Yawning is a reflex that involves a deep, prolonged inhalation of air, followed by a slower exhalation. Though often associated with tiredness or boredom, the exact function of yawning is still debated. One theory suggests that yawning helps increase oxygen intake and removes excess carbon dioxide from the blood, especially in situations where breathing has slowed down. Another theory posits that yawning helps cool the brain, improving mental alertness. Yawning can also be contagious, triggered by seeing or hearing others yawn. This reflex occurs in many animals and is thought to play a role in regulating breathing, body temperature, and promoting alertness during periods of drowsiness or inactivity. Number 5. Sighing Sighing is an automatic reflex that involves taking a deep breath, followed by a long exhale. It usually occurs when normal breathing becomes too shallow, leading to less air reaching the small air sacs in the lungs. Sighing helps reopen these alveoli, ensuring that the lungs maintain optimal oxygen exchange. While often associated with emotional states such as frustration or relief, Sighing plays an essential physiological role in regulating normal lung function. A sigh every few minutes helps reset the respiratory system, preventing the collapse of alveoli and maintaining healthy lung performance. It also acts as a natural reset for the body's breathing rhythm, particularly during moments of stress or relaxation. Number 6. Mammalian Diving Reflex the mammalian diving reflex is an automatic physiological response triggered when the face or body is submerged in cold water, typically below 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. This cold exposure activates sensory neurons that increase parasympathetic activity, leading to several survival-focused changes in the body. 
breathing is inhibited, the heart rate slows, and metabolism decreases to conserve oxygen. Simultaneously, peripheral blood vessels constrict, redirecting blood flow to vital organs such as the heart, lungs, and brain. This reflex likely evolved in marine mammals to allow longer, deeper dives in search of food or to evade predators. In humans, the diving reflex can be enhanced and utilized in medical and therapeutic settings, such as regulating heart rate during certain procedures or helping manage anxiety and stress. Note, overall, this remarkable reflex showcases the body's ability to adapt to extreme conditions for survival. Number 7. Herring Brewer Reflex The Herring Brewer Reflex is a protective mechanism that prevents overinflation of the lungs during breathing. It is triggered by stretch receptors located in the walls of the bronchi and bronchioles, which detect excessive lung expansion during deep inhalation. When the lungs inflate beyond a certain point, these receptors send signals via the vagus nerve to the brainstem, specifically to the respiratory centers in the medulla oblongata. This results in the inhibition of further inhalation and the stimulation of exhalation, ensuring that the lungs do not become overdistended. The herring brewer reflex is more active in infants and young children as their lungs are more sensitive to overexpansion. In adults, it plays a secondary role but can still be important during activities like exercise or controlled breathing techniques. And you may also be wondering what exactly controls breathing. As I briefly mentioned earlier, breathing is primarily controlled by the brainstem, specifically the medulla oblongata and the pons, which regulate both the rate and depth of respiration. These regions of the brain respond to chemical signals in the blood, such as carbon dioxide and oxygen levels, as well as the pH balance. The respiratory centers in the brainstem send signals to the diaphragm and other respiratory muscles to contract and reflex, facilitating inhalation and exhalation. While breathing is mostly an involuntary process, it can also be influenced by higher brain centers in the cerebral cortex, allowing conscious control over breathing when necessary, such as during speaking, singing, or holding your breath. But, as you can see, breathing reflexes are important because they serve as automatic mechanisms that maintain and regulate vital respiratory functions without the need for conscious thought. These reflexes help protect the respiratory system by ensuring the airways are clear, preventing lung overinflation and adapting breathing patterns to meet the body's changing needs, such as during physical activity, environmental stressors, or exposure to irritants. They are crucial for maintaining optimal oxygen exchange, preventing damage to the lungs, and ensuring the body's survival in extreme conditions such as during cold water submersion or exposure to foreign particles. Without these reflexes, the body's ability to breathe efficiently and respond to various internal and external challenges would be compromised, leading to potential respiratory failure or other health issues. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.